All right, we made it out here. We were at Swan Island. It's actually the cleanest I've ever seen it, to be quite honest with you. We are carp fishing. I just threw out a piece of corn. I chummed this little area out here to see if I can get them to come over here. Threw out a piece of corn. There's usually carp here. But we will find out shortly if they're here or not. We can move this bank line as well. If we want, we could go over here. We could have to walk up and around. We could make it over there, I think. Maybe crappie fish. There's a carp right there. See, I told you they're here. Just about getting them over to this spot. Really, we're just chilling and watching this rod dip, watching the line, see if we can't get one. keep raining I was gonna sit it out in the car but I was like you know what it's just part of the game Water's high enough for these fish could push in and move in. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Gotta bring him back over here with a sucker fish. <laughs> like I said, water's high enough for these fish could push up in here. <laughs> and I got a hand bone. <laughs> Big old squaw fish. Oh, he smoked the life out of it. <laughs> That's how it's done, right there. Squall daddy. I am going... I don't have anything to kill him with. Um, I guess he's going to get to go free today. I usually would kill him, but I have nothing to kill him with. Well, it's on the board. Squad daddy. Look at that, he absolutely smoked that bait. I don't even know if he'll swim right. Yeah, it will. It looks a little bit more exposed than I want it to be. He smoked the crap out of that bait. <laughs> Something happened to my bait. 
Okay, it fixed itself. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he came off. That was a smallie. That one was a smallie. Shoot. I could tell that was a smallie. There's fish over here. I like it. I don't think he'll come back, but I'll make that cast again. Kind of hit it like a rock. Just kind of mushed the bait. I wonder if he picked it up when it hit the water and I just thought that weirdness was the fish having it. Might have to get on the dock. Literally stretch that fish off. <laughs> Spike could turn on right now with this sun popping out. It's a lot of current right over there. A lot of current right here in general. Change colors when it's not a little darker. See if that changes anything. I really wanted that bigger bait though. I think I might have. I do have some high tail shads. Which is a bigger bait. We'll throw that on after we throw this around for a little bit. There's one. Oh, he's oh, still there. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a big one, <laughs> holy cow. All right, we'll eat this color. Good to know, good to know. A little color change helped. So I wasn't getting anything on the other one. It's like my fourth or fifth squaw fish today. <laughs> All good squaw territory. But where there's squaw? Right here. 
Oh, he hit it. Oh, he missed it. Got him. Here we go. On the board with a trout. Is that a steelhead? I don't know. It might be a steelhead. If you guys can tell me, let me know. I think it's a steelhead small. I wonder if there's another one over here. Glad I capitalized on that opportunity. All right, so I'm popping right here. I figured what the heck, might as well cast at him. Got an opportunity. No, I wasn't recording. I just caught another smallie. I saw him come up and swing at it right there. Heck yeah. Deuces. That was a pretty cool bite and I completely missed it. Completely missed it. I missed the first one too. <laughs> That was pretty sweet. Literally, that was like four feet off the bank. And I was ticking it off some uh, rock. And I was pulling it up over the rock because it just gets kind of stuck on these rocks right here. And then I saw him come up and roll at it. He missed it and I just dropped it back down on the ground. He went and picked it up and I set it into him. It was so cool. Oh, it's not a fish. Oh, I missed him. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just killing the game now. I'm letting it drop a little bit. Hmm. Might have to throw on a Ned rig. That was the same thing. I hit the rock right up here, popped it right out. He ate it and ran with it. There's one. He's a small fish though. Oh no, it's a smallie. It's a decent smallie too. Okay. I haven't seen a Willamette smallie like that in a minute. Okay. 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 We found some smallies. That's a chunker. Boys, that's a chunker. Okay. Okay. I'll take a picture with this bad boy. Something out. I just missed one. I said I caught one, then I missed one. Then I just caught this one. I thought he was a squally. The way he was fighting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let him go. There he goes. This is Mr. Smalley. Boy! Okay. Close in shore. Real close in. The way he was fighting, I thought he was a squatty. There's gotta be more out there.
letting it drop out here far out i wonder if they're following it in and finally once it gets up close to shore they're just grabbing it i might have to put on a ned rig Key right there, tie on that Ned rig. <laughs> okay, that popped off. Let's go over here and tie up some stuff real quick. Give me a second, boys. We found some fish. Let's grab the tube first. It's gonna be a little hard to find the bottom, but I'm just gonna bounce this thing. Smally. Oh my goodness, he's got some fight to him. Oh, it's a pike minnow. <laughs> okay. Makes more sense. Come on up here, bud. Oh, that technique works. <laughs> Well, well, well. What I'll do it is I'll let it drop out there. I don't really, I, I, it's hard to feel bottom because there's so much current. And I'm picking it up and bouncing it. Picking it up, bouncing it. It's almost like it's not hitting the bottom. It's, it's almost like a crawfish. It's just swimming through the water column. Fish definitely ate it like a small mouth. Well, I just straightened out my hook right there. Ha, <laughs> ha, 